So after a long week of travel and various activities, I'm at home on a Saturday afternoon and just kind of reflecting on some of the things that happened and some of the conversations that I had. And uh, it's been a crazy week in our country. It seems like every week is now a crazy week in our country. But this has been a crazy one. And uh, we look at all of the uh, seeming insanity that's going on in our world. And, and whether you're left, right, center, or <laughs> something else, I don't think you can look at our political system and uh, just the culture that we're living in right now and, and not be dumbfounded by how crazy things are from uh, the abortion decision that came down in the state of New York this week. Uh, it's crazy. It, it's, it's insanity. The, the politics around border protection and all that's going on there, and then every day it's something else. And it's, uh, it's nuts. And it's easy to, in the middle of all of this, to kind of come to the conclusion that America may not make it. <laughs> it's going to be a rough go and things just aren't going to uh, ever right themselves. And man, we're in a bad spot. And, and I know it feels that way and it does seem that way sometimes. But this week I, I was reminded about what a great country we live in and I was filled with hope. And um, there's there's four reasons. There's probably a lot of reasons, but there's four reasons in particular I have hope for our country. Uh, there are a lot of reasons, and I could spend a lot of time talking about this, but four reasons in particular. This last week, we were uh, our organization, the Mighty Oaks Foundation, was participating in a, an event in Huntsville, Texas, which is a super patriotic community, and uh, just awesome to see uh, 800, 1,000 people in a room sharing a barbecue and raising money for organizations like Mighty Oaks and uh, Man, just, just the support is incredible. And again, you think that if you watch the news that no one loves our country. There are a lot of people across the country that love America. And it was awesome to be in that room and to see those people and participate with all that was going on. And, and uh, I loved it. At the end of the, the, the night there, I was standing back by the book table that we had set up and uh, talked to a lot of people. And, and again, just really enjoyed that time. But uh, four young men walked up to me and uh, all, all guys in their... Um, uh, their last year of college, getting ready to go into their senior year of college, Texas A&M students, and um, uh, started to ask me questions. And, and they let me know there were two of them that are going to be Air Force officers uh, and two that are going to be Marines. The One of the Marines, one of the future Marines, uh, is an ROTC student at Texas A&M, and he wants to be a combat arms uh, officer. The other one has a, a flight contract, and, and I stood there and talked to those guys, and they drilled me with questions. It was question after question, and uh, it was awesome because the questions were questions like this. Hey, we're getting ready to go into the military, and we want to represent our community and our families well. What should we do? We, we are people of faith. We have a relationship with God, and we want to continue to represent God and, and uh, be Christians in the military. What should we do? And all of these questions, one after another after another, and they were so concerned about being who they had been taught to be and being what they were created to be that, uh, man, it filled me with uh, great hope and encouragement. There are a lot of reasons I could say that I'm optimistic about the future of our country, but there are four in particular. Those four young men who came and are so concerned about doing it right and I know that as long as we're raising young men and women who are concerned about doing it right, leading right, leading well, leading in their communities and in the military and in our country, as long as we have young men and women who are asking those questions, it's going to be okay. There's a lot of madness going on in our world, but there are a lot of people that are very excited about doing it right. There's hope for our country, and I'm excited for the days ahead.